Okay, Mishle 21, 12. Maskil Tzadik Labes Russia, Misalif Rashaim Lara. Tzadik is intelligence to the house of the Russia. Okay. Is intelligence. Yeah, uh, let, let's go with. Um, Comprehends. Comprehend. Yeah, I, and the reason why is um, is uh, for discerning. Uh, that's Isaac's translation of uh, Tuna. Uh, whereas like Seichel is like intelligence or comprehension. Uh, again, I like just because in Hebrew the terms mean different things. I like keeping the same English translations for those things. So that, that uh, for for the I, I like being consistent with English translations. Let's put it that way. Um, that's one translation of uh, Moskiel. There's another one that we mentioned last time because our last pasuk also had Moskiel. Be successful. Yeah. So I think Moskiel. Right. So look at Mitzvah here. Moskiel inyan hatslacha ki hamatzlech b'mas of nira lehabrios sheose b'haskel. So he's. Um, He's explaining the etymology, or not the etymology, the usage also. He's saying that the reason why you use the same word for intelligent and successful is because if you are successful, then it is uh, it is perceived as intelligence, you know? Um, so I don't know exactly how to conjugate it. I think maskil live base Russia means brings success, like to like to make successful. Which sounds weird. Can you say it's like it's, sec it's successful over the house Russia? Like he like with the Lamed? It's a good question. Yeah, I don't know how to translate the Lamed. Lamed is one of those. Uh, I'm gonna go with two since that's the definite meaning, but uh, you know, or the definite uh, translation. Right. But we'll, we'll we'll keep it flexible in our mind. Uh, um, he distorts the shine. Yeah, he. That's that's a bias theory. Say again. That's that's one way to read it. Another way to read it is um, actually no. He distorts. Right? Uh, correct. Yeah, he distorts. Oh, he distorts Rishayim. Yeah, uh, Krups is also good. Um, Rishayim. Now here's another difficult lamed. La ra. Four two evil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the Matuas Dion just says Masal is Ma'akim, uh, like Dofin Akuma is like a bent. Uh, you know, so he 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 uh, bends. Maybe you could say bends also, right? Uh, bends, twist. twists. So twists. It would be avas. I think. I think. Um, let, let's just let's just check uh, uh, an Alhatora dictionary. Uh, let's see. Akum. Akum. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, do you recall me giving shear on this pasuk randomly last year? It's possible I did it at um at Lomdeha, and that's why I'm thinking that I did. Oh, is this not a biblical shorish? Might not be a biblical shorish. If not, then we should get Mr. Greeny. Um, um yeah, he says. Uh, Akum is bent, crooked, curved, or rye. Yes, yeah, it's twisted. I don't. I don't think that's a. Uh, Avas is ayin vav tav. Yeah. Um, uh, not to be confused with avaz aleph vav zayin, which means goose. It's a fun word. Yeah, avaz. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sadigon says im hiskil hatsadik the vase harasha yihiye selef la ra. Okay, so uh, this is equally ambiguous, I think, because we don't know how he's taking his skill. If, sorry, if the tzaddik um, maybe is successful in the house of the Russia, because he changes the lava to a bet, that's a little bit easier, right? His skill he comprehends like in, in yeah. House. All right, so let's use both of them again. Comprehends or succeeds in the house of the Russia. So I was reading the same way, to the house of the Russia, in the house of Russia. Yeah, but two is a little weirder than in, I think. That's how uh, I was yeah. translating it. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I don't blame you for doing that. Sadiqan so also doesn't blame you. Yihi is selaf harashaim lara. He or it will be, probably he, right? Is that selaf or sili? This? Yeah. I assume it's selaf. It's now. Yeah. He will be, because I think they would write it um, male uh, like that if it was sili. 
uh, he will be a, a corrupter of the Rashaim for to evil. Yeah, so very subtle uh, differences here. Uh, I don't know what we can make of it yet. And then uh, Targum, I always forget to look up the words in the Targum. Let's see if we can get it. Mistakel, Sadika. Oh, interesting. Mistakel. Yeah, so that's, what was Mistakel? To contemplate. Really. He, he takes a stance on it. So he says, Bavese de Russia. So the Tzadik comprehends the house of the Russia. Umataltel Rashiya Bavishta. And he, Metaltel. Metaltel, you know, like. Yeah, he moves, right? He moves the Russia in evil. Um, Hi, my printer broke, so I'm going to give you the save here. Not as a Kenyan. Uh, oh, wait, where is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, I don't know if that helps us or not. Okay, let's look at the English here. Uh, Art Scroll says, a righteous person brings success to the house of evildoer, which corrupts the wicked towards evil. So it's adding in the word which, right? Like as a cause and effect thing, I guess. Um, uh, Living Knox says, the righteous turns his attention to the house of the wicked, leading the wicked astray towards evil. That seems to be like Mistakel, like, cause that could also mean to gaze at, you know, like to, to like, you know, fix your attention upon. So um, uh, let's just add that here. Okay, comprehends, um, gazes at, and then, um, and then Alter says the righteous fathoms the heart of the wicked. So that's also saying Maskil like Seichel, subverts the wicked for evil. Subvert is a good, um, uh, that's like, uh, I think what you were getting at with the, 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 the uh, twists, you know, so subversion. Yeah, okay. Tough one, tough one. There's so many questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, I mean, it's, I guess it just jumps out at me. Mm -hmm. If he's doing something, okay, what was the run? Right. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, okay, what does la ra mean? So, uh, what do you mean by what does it mean? Uh, like, are, are you have like multiple possibilities. Um, does it mean objectively bad? Does it mean bad for the shine? Okay, so if objectively bad, why well, would you do something that's objectively bad? Bad. Okay. Um, yeah. Does it mean objectively bad? Or harmful, whatever. whatever right. Bad. Sorry. For, for, let, let's let's go like this first of all. So does it does it mean harmful or evil? Right. Right. Uh, and then does it mean objectively or from the perspective? of the Russia. Yeah. I think those are like the four permutations, yeah. In the second half of the Pesach, who's doing that? Is it the Tzadik or is it Russia? Uh, the Tzadik, because um, uh, I think, well, the Tzadik is the subject of the Pesach. Moscow Tzadik, the base Russia. It's not even talking about a Russia. It's talking about the base Russia. And then uh, he, meaning the Tzadik, is a corrupt Russia in Lara. I don't think you could read it as Russia. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying that's because in the first half of the Pasuk, it sounds like, uh, this is a question, it sounds like that the Tzadik is like bringing success to the house of the Russia. Correct. Meaning like he's like, you know, getting the Russia to do on the path of Shuva or whatever he's uh, doing. Okay, so that, that's another question. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the question. Right. Is, so, is that what he's doing? So what, so if, let's go like this. If Maskil means success, okay, uh, is this objective well like does what, what does that mean right yeah, what, does that mean? what does that mean shuva uh okay and we can add other possibilities as we right. think of them so, yeah sean oh sorry yeah, you, you weren't finished yet it was a line of reason it's a line of reason. okay yeah yeah uh, it was and if you do say that yeah it, right right so in the second half of the plus like i would i was gonna use the second half of the plus as a, as a contrast to that meaning like if the tzaddik is ready to bring success to the house of the russia then the question is, who's the he? Meaning, like, then who's doing the corrupting? Is it now still the Sonic in that same house, or is it the Russia in that house? Yeah. So, so that's I, I, yeah, I yeah, I, I, I hear where the question's coming from. I, I just thought of another, um, uh, when you said the Chuva thing, uh, I think divert also could be good, like to, to turn them, you know, like, you know, to cause them to turn. Um, yeah. So let, let's just see here. So, uh, so hold on, I'm just trying to translate your line of inquiry into a specific question that is not already covered by these two. 
feel free to jump in if uh can i make it more broad sure right what does hospital mean yeah right and how does it apply to the house okay um and how does it apply to the house and then let's put this as uh like that bullet points right so if it means success what does that mean uh and then if it if it means um comprehends then what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I feel like, like, uh, isn't that obvious, right? Like, Sadiqim have to, I mean, I assume Sadiqim have to comprehend evil. Like, how are you going to become a Sadiq otherwise? You know? Yeah. Do that. That's the opposite. Oh, the opposite. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's the one problem, right? Yitzchak is like the only case where, like, but then you could see. I still don't understand that, though. Yeah, you could talk it up to the fact that Aesop was just a really good uh, manipulator, you know? Um, yeah, Ali? So when we're saying, I mean, it's kind of based off the second question, but when we're saying that the Russia is just like bent towards evil, is that like a double negative? Right, um, yeah, yeah. Or are we saying that the Tajik is doing something that needs to be evil? And so it's kind of like that. Right, possible. okay, yeah, yeah. So let, let's, uh, so it, meaning if, if, well, uh, tell me if this is what you're saying or if this is just aligns with what the results are. If La Ra is speaking from the perspective of the Russia, like making the Russia do something that he views as evil, then that could be good. Right. Yeah, right? Like, uh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, but let's just ask it in the more general way, which is, say what you said again. I had a good... Uh, is it a double negative or is it the Tajik doing something that we're Okay, yeah, correct. Yeah, so let's just do this. Um, if not, if not... Uh, how can the tzaddik be doing something that results in evil? And it sounds like by design, right? Like, it sounds like this is his goal, right? Yeah, W. What is the tzaddik doing in directing with the Rasha in the first place? That's a good question also. Um, yeah, so what, uh, what, what business does the tzaddik <laughs> have with the, really with the base Russia? Right, yeah. uh, which is, should be another question in the first place. Well, what's the base Russia? Yeah, that's, that's another I mean, question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the base Russia, and why focus on the base Russia uh, in the first half, and Rashaim in the second half? I could make that another question, but I'm going to keep it here. Um, uh, yeah, Yago. Uh, on one A. Yeah. Um, why would he bring success? Because I mean, obviously, that's, that's, yeah. that's harmful. Yeah. And then society, you know, is it systemic? Yeah, yeah right. Harmful. Especially for the Tzadik and his systemic worldview. Oh, I didn't send you the Mishlaic spectrum. I got to send you that, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to add the, uh, well, I guess you can't do it now because we don't have a good idea. Of the what, Tom and the Usher? Well, the, the Tom and the Usher are on the Mishlake spectrum, but okay. that Mishlake spectrum is a couple years old. So there's a lot of stuff I need to update. I think I, I think this summer I need to rework a new one. Yeah, Yaakov? Uh, 1B. Mm -hmm. um, you can ask the opposite. I would be know what's going on in the house of the Usher because it's, it's hidden. It's indoors now. Okay. He's, only, he's not in there. The house of the Russia. And just to make this even more concrete, what method would he use to to comprehend or understand yeah uh what's the relation between the two halves of the cross yeah uh what is the relationship between the two halves uh we didn't actually list the question of misalif what does misalif mean would you go with the, the, the uh the, the plastic right on top of the question yeah so we can ask questions while you're typing yeah what was the last question we did uh, it also had uh, that in it, the same word. Let me look it up. Uh, Mishle 2111. Uh, yeah, yeah. There might be a relationship between those two. Yeah. We need two monitors. We have the plus monitor and the question monitor. We, we could do that. <laughs> no, I was joking. <laughs> I mean, why are you joking? It's for Torah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, is that is that it? I mean, in terms of base of Russia, I know a few seconds ago we had like base of our. Yeah. Like, how do we understand like a base of? Yeah, let's just look at that and see what you're referring to. Oh, oh with the um. Oh, yeah, the Asia's Medianim, right? Yeah. Base Kaber, right? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. So just working definition of a household. Yeah. Oh, this is separate. Okay, sure. W working definition is, I think we can assume it's talking about a literal household, but what it, uh, the, like, speaking about, I think there's an Aristotle statement in politics that says uh, the household is like the smallest unit of society, you know, beyond the individual. So, so it's talking about like a closed system uh, and household is just like a, a, an example of that. So it might not be limited to a literal, like, you know, uh, husband, wife, and kids and dog, you know, it might be like also like a, you know, a small, like a, a business or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could it also be like very large, like baby style? Yeah. Yeah. It could, yeah. It could be, I, I think if you, generally speaking, if you substitute house with system, then uh, with distinct system, specific system, then uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, so a few weeks ago, yeah. like, we talked about how the Russia, don't be friends with the Russia. Yeah. It's not going to have your interests. Right. Like, so how is there a, base russia if, if, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good question uh so what is the base russia and um what's the, what's the uh, so if rashaim uh are aren't genuine friends right but are just uh aligned for self-interest purposes yeah. right what is the nature of a base russia like what's the what is their uh relationship with each other <laughs> Yeah, you know what it was? Have you ever watched the movie Dark Knight uh, with the Joker? Yes, we, <laughs> yeah. we 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 basically <laughs> quote it in every single mission this year, but uh, yeah. So so like they had a gathering of a lot of mob bosses, yeah. you know, to uh, to see what we can do. Yeah, with, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> it sounds like a base rush. Yeah, that's a good example of base rush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming off of that, um, where's Rishon? Uh, there are multiple Rishon in one house. You mean like? Right. The house of Rishon in general. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to split this off into um, uh, who are, uh, sorry, what, who is this group of of Rishayim as distinct from the base Russia? Um, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. The other possibility is it's not a group of Rishon. It's just the house of Rishon in general. Uh, the it's house. It's not just one Russia. Even it's it's right. Like the house of Gregor. Right. So that would be saying, though, that these things are synonymous then, the first half and the second half, meaning base Russia and Rashaim. Are you interpreting base Russia as Rashaim or? Um, no, I didn't. So I didn't, I didn't get your question then. I'm saying Rashaim perhaps could mean this Rashaim in general. Uh huh. Meaning not this group of Rashaim. Yes. Okay. Right. I have another question. On, on adding on to that. Hold on a second. Is this Rashaim? in general mm -hmm. or a specific cohort yeah um are there different uh are there spectrums in being a russia i mean like like less of a russia versus greater of a russia that's a good question but i actually think that that is not a question warranted by the pasuk why because there's nothing forcing you to distinguish between levels of russia in the pasuk like i could ask that on any pasuk that mentions russia well, well but... i'm can, can i yeah. share with you why i'm thinking sure. that because the tzad, if the Tzadi brings success to the house of the Rasha, mm -hmm. if we're translating that, if we're translating base Rasha to me, it's just a, a few Rashaim in that, you know, household, mm -hmm. then maybe, you know, the Tzadi can, you know, convert one of them and that, that will ruin, you know, the house of the Rasha. Mm -hmm. And that is what success is mm -hmm. versus, you know, but, but, but if they're all hardcore Rasham, that's like impossible. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So right. I mean, you why. need a Russia who's like vulnerable to the yeah. Chuva. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Or do you just say it's based Russia? It's like a, it's like the, his family, mm -hmm. in which case it doesn't really right. matter. But maybe his children may not necessarily be Russian. Right. Right. So yeah. Here. Yeah. You can, and that's an important why. thing to realize, by the way. You can have um, like uh, Korach and his household, right? So Korach was not a good guy, and uh, his and son's his sons were, right? You know, so like based Russia doesn't necessarily mean that all the people in the household are. Or Rashaim, you know, yeah. The, the point is like someone's susceptible to do. Yeah, well. right, right. And this is still going with your um, interpretation of the second half is. No, 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 okay. yeah. I'm just keeping my mind open. Sure. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Who's the audience? And yeah. You figure, like, what is the practical application? Yeah. Who is the audience? What is the practical application? Yeah. Okay. I feel like we're ready to interpret it. Yeah. I guess it's. Tagging on to the question, was it side doing it? But why why is he doing something to the Russia? Yeah, let, let's just say, yeah, what what is his motive? Yeah. Um 
what is his motive for engaging the Russia, the base Russia, uh, slash Rashaim, slash Rashaim, in this manner? Yeah. 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 That would be in this manner. Yeah. Are we ready? Sure. Okay. Go for it. I, I want to start with the obvious question. What's the motive? Okay. That thing is pretty simple. Okay. I think that the Tzaddik wants to destroy Rashan. Correct. Very simple. I think, I, I also think that's the simplest motive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so now, if you say that, there are many ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. One is to, you know, uh, it's through the system, you know, through people, you know, recognizing the Rashan, which stay away from them, whatever. Yeah. Or there's a more, di more of a direct, uh, you know, cutting of the throat, you know, straight up, you know, like a man destroying them. That's through his family. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He did say that. I'm curious to see how he connects that as like, yeah. I'm just talking. Um, <laughs> okay. So, but, but the point is like, like, like if you can, um, you know, you know, convert or, or talk to someone who's more susceptible to Chuva, that that is hurting the the house of russia because it's, it's like uh because because the, the the bias of the russia is his family it's mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's the, his agenda that he wants to give over to his family as right. his legacy mm -hmm. but if you you know remove that you're destroying him by destroying his legacy right no you 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 <laughs> no you you you, you, re you, you re rehabilitate you're, you're saying you rehabilitate, you rehabilitate the kids, the kids right. but you're killing his kids. Right. So you're saying the Salik Rashaim Lara means you are. So which Rashaim is this? This is the kids who are in the Russia's house. The second house of all? Yeah, the second house. Oh, no, no, it's uh, uh, it's a head honcho. Uh, oh, oh so mean, meaning by, okay, so in other words, by Moscow Tatar the base Russia, mean by bringing success, which you're translating as facilitating Teshuva to the house of the Russia, meaning the most susceptible ones for doing tshuva in the house, that is in the Russia's perspective, harming him. Right. Uh, and, and that's gonna dismantle the house. Right. I mean, that like is, if, you, yeah. if you like get the, uh, the, 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 uh, the godfather's uh, kid to like, turn you know, him. to, to turn, turn on him, right? Then that's, uh, then that's yeah. bringing down the Russia's house. Yeah, and, and you're saying that it's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interpreting what you're saying here is like, you're saying, doing it like a man, like it's a, you know, like it's a sneaky, like, uh, you know, like like uh, uh yeah right right yeah yeah, yeah. okay and, and and check this out Here, here's a cool thing <laughs> okay the second half of the plus yeah you know it's bothering me like what's bothering me uh he distorts corrupts mm -hmm. he's already distorted he's already mm -hmm. you know the, yeah so i think it's what it means is i think there there is a sliver of hope for the russia mm -hmm. but at this point he's doubling down yeah yeah, he could do Shiva through his family, but he's not. He's mm -hmm. doubling down. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. Uh, I like your approach. Yeah, yeah. So do you translate Mishali as being more someone who exposes the Russia, so he exposes the Russia for evil? Um, hmm. You could say that like a lot of people can't really differentiate Rishayim. Yeah. Ah, uh, meaning like he brings out the corruption in the Russia, like in a manifest way. Right, and since he understands that connection to Shiva, he understands yeah. the house of the Rishayim. Right. Therefore, like he makes some mob boss make a mistake. Yeah, that's a, uh, oh man. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, the, um, see, it's, I'm always torn with these things because I don't want to like give any spoilers <laughs> for good movies. But yeah, meaning, um, meaning that he, uh, he makes it manifest, which then therefore like kind of paints a target on the Russia's back or makes other people able to, you know, avoid him. Bring Russia and Iran, like kind of connect the two. Right. Right, as opposed to the 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 skillful Russia is going to be concealed in his uh, in his evil activities. Because like everyone knows that being Ra is like is bad. Evil, yeah. Obviously, but um, I, maybe like not everyone knows that Russia is necessarily manifest. So right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, correct. Yeah. All right. I I I, I gotta give a, an example from a movie. So this is a movie based on a true story. Uh, I think I may have recommended this in Michelet before. American Gangster, um, with what's his name, Denzel Washington. And Russell Crowe. Uh, and so this is a true story. This guy, basically, Denzel Washington was uh, in Harlem. I forgot when the movie took place. I think it was in the 50s or 60s, maybe. And he brought, um, I think the, the mob controlled the drug trade. 
And, uh, and the way that they controlled it is they basically got all of the illegal drugs from, from Asia, you know, and then they were the ones who distributed it. And, you know, so, uh, and they were selling it to like the, you know, African-American neighborhoods in, uh, you know, in, in Harlem and stuff. And so, so Denzel Washington's character, I forgot what the actual real guy's name was, basically like undercut the mob and like did it on his own. Like he went to Asia and like made these deals on his own. But the thing is, is that, so he effectively became his own uh, crime organization, but he didn't draw attention to himself. So no one knew where this was coming from. And it was, I guess, better quality, like illegal drugs than what the, the mob offers. So they were like, like looking all over to like, try to like get him, let's try to find out who's behind this operation. And basically they go to a, um, a, uh, a boxing match, like one this, like, like really big boxing match. And Denzel's, uh, uh character's, uh, uh, girlfriend gives him this lavish like fur coat and he doesn't want to wear it because he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. But she likes like, no, you're, you're the, uh, you're, you're the, you know, the king of this operation and stuff. You have to like look the part. And that's when they find out who he is. And like, he does it just because he wants to appease her. But like beforehand, he was able to engage in the corruption because people could not identify him as the, the head of the house of the Rashaim, you know? And so, uh, you know, so she ended up, she wasn't a tzaddik, but like she ended up, you know, basically like corrupt, corrupting him towards evil in a manner that made his evil manifest. And then that's what brought down the whole thing. Exactly, made it visible, yeah. So what we should do, I, I like the idea. And I think, and I think you can, see, you you, you asked, can Misalif be interpreted that way? I, right, I, I, so I, I think we could just uncouple it from the translation and say that, we don't have to pause it as part of the translation. We could just say that he he gets the Russia to act in a way that is manifestly um, evil. You know, like he we, we translate it straight. He cor he corrupts the Russia towards Ra, but for a good purpose of exposing him. You know, like almost like a form of entrapment in a way. You know. Well, that plus yeah. to the Russia being uh, exposed like that would be a corruption of what he's trying to do. That's also true. Meaning, subjectively, to the Russia, it's bad, right? Yeah. Have a sure. Slightly different approach. Yeah. Um, more that is, it's kind of. It, it, I'm not sure if it really builds on Black House or not as much, but it's kind of showing us the uh, the depths of the of the vicious of the Russia, I would say, in that even when the Tsarik attempts to, I'm going to use the Tishuba idea yeah. for success to bring like Tishuba to the House of Russia, it's almost like in a. Uh, the guy who doesn't accept like Tokaha mm -hmm. and the Tzadik bringing like trying to like help him out with Tishuba will bring him like even like down like, even more. Okay. So hold on just a second here. So Moscow Tzadik based Russia. So he is trying to help the Russia do Tishuba yeah. and the Russia is not open to Tishuba because he's Russia. And then that'll, excuse me, he's kind of being pragmatic and he's saying that like, in the event that the Tsarik tries to get a Russia to do Tishuba, it's like it's just not going to work. So according to this, so I just to, is this on the same approach or a different approach? Yeah, it's very similar. Okay. I think it's slightly different. Okay, so why don't you say that? And I, because I have a couple questions on this, but I will get it all on the table. Yes, yeah, so the, the approach that I was going to say is, right, and it focuses on base versus yeah. just like the, the, right. So I think, right, there's the general concept of understanding the nature of a Russia. Yeah. And that's going to be universal amongst all. Rashad, yeah, right, is that that they want to promote themselves, right? And so you would think, right, because this is a universal amongst all people, right, I can just have a large sweeping brushstroke. I can do certain actions mm -hmm. that's going to apply to all of Rashad, right? Right. But if you don't directly attack Russia because he is fundamentally for himself, even though it's the same amongst all Rashad, so because of that, when you do like large sweeping brushstrokes, so then you're actually going to end up pushing Rashad further away because you're just treating them as a mass. So can you give me, not. can you give me an example? Like just a real world example. Real world, world example. Or like a, you know, um, a hypothetical just to see. Okay, a bunch of people are doing something wrong. Yeah. Right? And they're all doing this thing wrong for their own uh, promotion of themselves, mm -hmm. right? But each one is trying to promote themselves through this bad thing in a slightly different way. So mm -hmm. if you just try and push people away from doing this action and treat it all the same because, right, they're being Rasham and that's just like the way in which they're engaging in Rishas, right? So then, you're not necessarily going to be able to undermine the desires of each person, right? Which is just not going to push them out of there. It's really good, like, a, like we were going before, like a drug dealing, mm -hmm. you know? Like, uh, if you just try to 
I guess break up the game or you try to, you know, put like the head person in jail or something. It's not going to weed out all of the, uh, all of the, the roots, I would say, mm -hmm. per se. And you're still going to end up even pushing people further, you know, mm -hmm. like when they see the law as something that's even worse than it is before, mm -hmm. it becomes even worse. So. Uh -huh. so, okay. So let me just comment first of all on, on the similarities and differences. So the question I was going to ask in your approach, Chaim, was that I would need a, a convincing explanation for why the Tzadik thinks it is possible to help facilitate the, the Russia's tshuva, which I'm not saying that there's no answer, but like, you know, I think that, right. And then, um, and also, uh, and just to confirm, so according to, to, so to me, that's the weak point in that. But then the strong point is that you're saying that the practical application in the audience is that this is talking to a Tzadik who wants to help and saying, this is not gonna help, this is gonna make things worse. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So that that's that's one approach. And then you're sidestepping that issue, Sean, by saying that this is not a society trying to help the Russia do tshuva. This is a society trying to uh, to eliminate Russia behavior. Or are you also going with the tshuva thing? I think it would work for either. Okay. So yeah, I'm so, I still feel like I'm missing something in your uh, in your example because I feel like there are um, there are like uh, sweeping measures that are effective in stopping the behavior, despite the fact. That they have their own personal individual motives and circumstances behavior. so where's the what was that some behavior doesn't need success though per se, right? well that that's also i guess what i was wondering on your the word success is weird to me you yeah, know I'm not using okay yeah I'm you're using comprehends right. right so he knows I mean, because, right, because he knows the 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 the, the Russia nature is common. Yeah. So then that's going to cause him to try to solve the problem in a certain way, and that's yeah. not working. Um, like a lot of times, you see someone because they see. Um, right, a lot of times we we uh, attribute we we see like something bad is going on in this area, and then we attribute that bad to like a system mm -hmm. or to like some. Um, or this, this might be a slightly different approach, but we yeah. attribute it to like this one person or like this one system. And mm -hmm. then we think if we just fix this one system or like remove this, then everything will sort of stop. Right. Yeah. And then when you kill that one person or like uproot this yeah. one thing in order to like, because you see all the Russianness as like one universal, yeah. then you realize that you just created a vacuum and everything. Right. So I'll, I'll give you something. an easy example, not with Rashaim, but like I... Yeah, it's like ecosystem. This ha this is the classic ecosystem mistake where like there's some sort of pest and then they bring in some other like thing to kill it yeah. and it kills it. And then that, because they're not looking at it in its interwoven uh, yeah. uh, systemic way. Now I'm, I'm arguing that this is something that Tzadik would, should know better, but you know, but then it, 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 it creates even more problems for the entire thing. Yeah, well, you know? so you can like, uh, example would be like, if, uh, if that's your guy on assassination, uh, an assassin. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't there a difference between Rishayim and like uh, real world parasites? It's like a parasite, like an insect, be a pest, like a certain species, but it's really contributing to the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. But don't Rishayim kind of like prey off the ecosystem itself? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of parasite, right? Because if it's a if it, yeah, exactly. Right. If it's, if it's an invasive parasitic thing, that's, then that's a very good description of Russia, right. That they are just out for their own self-interest, regardless of what happens to the system, you know, and ultimately that's going to be to their detriment because if they, you know, destroy the whole system, then they don't have anything for themselves, you know, and then they go away, but, but you're right in, in a balanced ecosystem, you will not see things like that. It's only in a, in foreign intervention. Yeah. Isaac. Uh, maybe yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, even with let's say Rishayim, like let's say like um, I think in, in situations where um, where people have taken out um, where, like let's say like the police have, have um, captured like a like a, a large portion of the mafia or something like that, um, it creates like a power vacuum in the underworld, which can cause like right. Um, it can cause even more violence and fighting to like you know. Like, like you know like let's say like like the the remaining the remaining members or the remaining organizations will like fight to um to be able to like capture like the market that that, that right right you know right. Like exactly 
yeah right fragmented uh yeah right or um i think uh, was that what happened with al-qaeda or isis something like that right uh the destabilizing the region right and then like other people coming in yeah um yeah oh so i wanted to say that that would be maybe a reason that the side of even knowing the the uh temperaments or temperance okay. temperaments temperaments yeah of the russia would still want because he sees him as something that can bring down the system yeah even like even knowing that like you shouldn't you know you shouldn't give the call to somebody kind of listen maybe he's just he's uh, i mean he's desperate i don't know yeah um but then i guess someone was saying like even though he has a possibility of bringing out the system you're just going to push him to do even worse by like trying to help him mm -hmm. trying to like uh trying to do to with him or whatever uh-huh like meaning because I, I could see a poll why to do it meaning the motive is there right the yeah motive's still there and even though there's something that's going to push back against that motive Sometimes it just—it uh, seems like the motive could be even, you know, you know, too overpowering at some point. Mm -hmm. so maybe initially coming in to tell you that uh, even though like you can see that way, like you're you're, you're just going to do more harm than good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I so said the Havmin still bothers me. That, that he thinks he's gonna, I mean, I. I I wouldn't be surprised if some of Farsham take that approach, and maybe we'll develop it when we see that. I want to share. Uh, I'd say, but, yeah. I was just saying maybe maybe it's the opposite that um, because of his understanding of the system, yeah, he's bringing success to the russia in whatever the russia is trying to do because of his understanding of what the effects on the ecosystem are going to be say, say one more time that is in certain situations he'll say i'm going to help this russia succeed in what he's trying to do because of what effects it will have and what kind of effects are we talking about here like let's say um like um like, like let's say like what you know like when like this isn't exactly the type of thing i'm talking about but let's say when okay. police offer a criminal a pardon because mm -hmm. um as you know if they uh like you know if they do like let's say if they, if they like help them like catch someone so mm -hmm. like giving a criminal a pardon um for their crimes um is not uh, like it's helping that russia succeed in a certain sort of way but mm -hmm because of his understanding of the system, he, he might do something like that um, beca uh, because of what effects it will have. Okay, so m the interpretation I'm about to give is very similar to that, uh, and, and maybe uh, and we'll, we'll see uh, which one is uh, is better. I think this is based on a, uh, we're just going to our favorite Mishlai Parish of the Dark Knight. Um, yeah, so yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay. Maybe this is not, okay. Maybe let me go with the, 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 the first movie is, is, is Batman Begins, right? So the, um, uh, Ra's al Ghul, right. And the, what was his organization? Uh, the League of, uh, the League of Shadows. Shadows, League of Shadows, right? So my understanding is that the League of Shadows is there to take societies that are already trending towards corruption and to basically like, um, hasten their downfall by bringing them success. You know, so the, oh, by the way, so this peers, I think I first heard from Johnny. Okay, so um, so sometimes the best way to destroy a Russia is to make him successful. Mm. All right, because Rashaim will self destruct, especially if they get quick success. You know, then they will become over ambitious, and uh, and they will will try to reach for more than than they can, and they will like be blinded to the the pitfalls, and like it'll feed their illusion that they are destined for success. And then the whole thing will come down. And two examples I can think of. Uh, I think best example is Esther and Haman. You know, that's one of the uh, approaches as to the whole party, right? So inviting him to uh, Haman and Akhazvesh to the party, and then not revealing her plan, and then inviting him to the second party. And you see Haman goes home and he says, like, look, like, like the, you know, I'm, yeah, we 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 made it. He breaks to his house, the base Haman, and like, yeah, right. And and he 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 is overly ambitious in, and, and therefore not cautious, you know, and even to the point where like, you know, there's, there's a lot of indications in the Sukkim of the, you know, say like where the king, you know, says, uh, what would you do to someone who the king wants to honor? And he says, oh, who could the king be talking about but me? And he says like, you know, I would take the, uh, the, the royal horse and the royal garments and the royal crown. And then Akhver says, uh, go easy on the crown thing. And he realizes, oh, I, I, I you know, I, I said too much. And then, uh, and so she basically like, like uh, feeds Haman's ambition, knowing that he is going to overstep his bounds and bring about his own destruction, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, and so so it is Maspil Tzadikli based Russia, the Tzadik brings success to the house of the Russia, Misalif Rashaim Lara, 
corrupting the evil towards Ra. And Ra, you could either say, means towards like their own self harm or towards actual evil, you know? And I'm not saying that the Tzaddik will always do this because sometimes when you do this, it causes a lot of actual harm, but the Tzaddik will do this when he knows it's going to bring about the destruction of the Russia. Another example, which didn't occur through, um, uh, through a Tzaddik, but like, I, I know we always use this example, but Hitler's downfall, you know, came about also through his overly unrealistic, ambitious um, delusions of, of, of success. Now, if you had someone who was in Hitler's inner circle who knew this Pasuk and wanted to bring about his destruction by feeding his ambition and making him think he's more successful than he actually is or that he's more cap capable of like greater victories, then, it could, then that would have been a good place to, to implement that, you know? Um, in some ways, it's kind of a, and this is like an extreme form of, um, you know, there is a form of discipline like for a, a parent or a teacher of like letting a kid learn the hard way but there that's in the kid's best interest, you know, but you have to like, you do have to like, let them do the bad thing. Like a passive exactly. Yeah. So, so, you know, the, um, uh, this is a weird example. So I think, so, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, this is going to work out. This is a good example. Yeah. I mean, you could argue this was bad parenting, but my mom, uh, my, when my mom, my mom never, uh, smoked cigarettes and neither did you know her her, her brothers and so uh, so she said when when my uh, when she was a, a little kid her her dad forced them all to smoke cigarettes so that they could experience how sick and, uh, and 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 nauseous and like like that they would get in order that they wouldn't do it in the future you know so that's like a um, so it worked you know so that was like an active form of of like you know exposing them and making them facilitating their ability to engage in this bad thing but it was for their good. Now, this is where I part ways with some of the approaches here is that the Tzadik, I'm saying the Tzadik is not doing this for the Russia's good. He's doing it for the system's good and for, for Russia's destruction. But it is, he does have to take that step of like actively promoting the, uh, you know, the, uh, the evil, you know? Yeah. And again, I think the Tzadik would only engage in this if it were, if this were the, the most surefire way to destroy the, the Russia, because there will be casualties, you know, in this. And, yeah. And I think like the, what Shaw was saying on the first part of the Pasuk is that it comes with understanding of the overarching category of Russia. And then this all to tell you Mara, it's like a more direct to like specific Russia. Yeah. He knows that like in order to get rid of like these kind of people, I yeah. can do this and this is how it's going to work for this guy. Right. Um, I'll give him, like, I'll, I'll make sure that he gets a lot of money. Yeah, it has to be individualized. Yeah. Now, I, I think there are elements of the other ideas that we're talked about that, that do fit into this, or you could like mix and match parts. But one of them is uh, going back to your original point about the Roshanian being self driven by self interest. And so ultimately, you can't have a base Russia. You know, so if you take base Russia as like a, a group of Roshanian that are working together, you can play off of that Russia nature and like throw a big piece of meat to the to the dogs and have them fight against each other or squid game. You know, like if you if you know, there are people who are are so driven for their own self interest that there's a certain critical level where there, there's a certain level where they'll work together for group success because that's the best way to get their self-interest like in a gang but then if you if you make the carrot big enough they'll kill each other in order to get that success Gotham. You watch Gotham? no uh, there's, there's a lot of like being like that kind yeah of, like, undermining and everyone's going behind back right 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 yeah yeah so so the tzaddik could promote that could like sow dissension in the ranks uh, of the of the russia so how are you translating the, you translate this russia as a house of Rasham? yeah so house of Rasham, i i still think it's a little weird because base russia i would have ordinarily said is like a like a dynastic situation or like legacy situation but functionally i'm saying base russia is any system of Rasham working together so how are you putting that in your or, or is it, hold on a second hold you on. Say it's a category of people yeah uh, what do you mean like his understanding of uh if base russia here would be just uh the people who are I don't know why you'd have to say base Russia. I'd just say the Russia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Question, okay. Nefesh Russia, something like yeah. that. Yeah. But my question is, how are you fitting in your interpretation? How are you fitting base Russia? Yeah, you know, I guess I wasn't thinking about that. I, I was thinking about it in uh, the the system that the Russia is governing. I guess base Russia. I don't know if that works out. Like, um, or specifically because, like you were saying, because he knows the nature of groups of Russia. Yeah. Therefore, then he can play on that. Correct. That's also that's also a possibility. That's like um. The uh, they also say that in speaking of Korach, like you know, Korach's wife, like, like, uh, basically, Korach's wife and Owen Van Pelis's wife were both like helping their husbands, 
but Un Ben Pelas, like uh, his wife pulled him out, right? right? But Korach, I, I forgot what the, what the exact Midrash says. Uh, Don't they say that Korach's wife like, um, like somehow like encouraged him? On. Yeah, egging him on, yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, uh, Zeresh definitely did that in, right. in Haman's uh, thing, you know? So uh, yeah. And that's the other thing also, is like whether you say that he's pitting the Rashaim in the house against each other, or if they're supportive of each other, like with Zeresh, you know, then like, yeah, meaning, meaning get the whole household on board to like, try to like, uh, you know, um, uh, bring success to the entire house. Yeah. Right. We should build a gallows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. I guess, right, so, I guess your interpretation does fit a message with the like, success to the house of the Russia. Yeah. Like in their own world. Right. I so guess our transcendent success is objectively. Right. So let's just summarize what we have here today. And then tomorrow we can go to the Mafar team. So we have, broadly speaking, the Teshuva approaches, right? Like yours and Chaim's. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. And I, I do think that there are Mafarshim who do say the Teshuva thing. Yeah. So bringing success, like objective success, to the house of the Russia. Uh, and either you're saying that he's going to be doing that and it will work and that will bring down the downfall, bring about the downfall of the Russia because he wants to pass on his legacy, you know, yeah. and you're saying that the lesson is that it's not going to work. Right. right. And then, uh, Sean, you were saying, just jog my memory about your idea again. Um, I was saying that just because you understand like the nature of Rasham in right. general does not necessarily mean that no broad strokes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You need to apply it um, individually. Right. And then, uh, and then there's Johnny's idea, which is, and I think I want to start with the, I think it's the Meiri. I think he is someone who says Johnny's idea tomorrow. Um, and then we'll look at other Mepharshim. Yeah. Also, I'm very curious as to what the Meiri is going to say in the Derek Nister, because my guess is that he's going to say that bias is a muscle for the entire human being. <laughs> bias is the muscle for the entire human being. So the question will be what, what does it mean to bring success or to understand the Russia within your internal family system, you know? Yeah. All righty. Stop for today. Yeah. I, I won't get sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you go to uh, office event.